Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. So you're ready to go portable, soda, poda, or maybe you just wanna be ready for an emergency situation and you've never operated remote before. What options and how do I connect to a battery and solar panel to operate remote as long as I want to or need to? That's today on HOA Ham. To level set expectations about the content of this video, it is not geared toward the expert remote operator who already knows how to pair radio to battery to solar panel. I'm focused more on the newer ham, the ham who's just now considering how to go remote, the ham who's investigating new equipment that they haven't looked at before to prepare for an emergency remote operation, POTA, SODA, etc. I'll show what I use in my go bag, and then I'm going to look at a new pairing that I'm going to show you how to connect in preparation for a series of videos upcoming on my channel. For my emergency go bag, I purchased and carry the 28 watt foldable solar panel along with the 12 volt 9 amp hour battery. This kit's available if needed to evacuate the house in less than a minute and it can power my IC705 indefinitely as long as the sun shines eventually. Not a problem here in Tampa Bay. For my larger go bag on wheels, I carry the 40 watt foldable solar panel along with the 12 volt 20 amp hour battery and the 30 amp BioNO solar charge controller shown in this video. This kit's available for more planned remote activations or emergency situations which are foreseen. If a hurricane is headed our way, which happens a dozen times a year, and I evacuate in an orderly, timely fashion, this kit goes in the vehicle along with my base station FT991A and if used properly, can power a 100 watt radio or QRP radio with amplifier for an extended period of time. I used BioNO online guides to help me determine which battery solar panel to pair together for my two go kits. Their customer service is excellent. You can reach out to them by email if necessary, and they are very responsive in providing guidance to make sure you get the right kit pairing. I'll leave links to their guides in the description below. The kit I'm preparing today is the result of a collaboration with BioNO to show a demanding remote activation using a solar and battery combination planned for an upcoming channel series. Thanks to BioNO for sponsoring that video series by providing the perfect equipment pairing. To be sure there's no confusion, I am not a BioNO affiliate. I purchased BioNO gear for both of my go kits, which are the foundation of my emergency preparedness. I chose BioNO because they are the standard when it comes to portable comms power solutions. You can see from the photograph there are very specific terminals on the solar charge controller. The solar charge controller are the brains of the operation. Now let's oversimplify the connection to get you started. We need to pull power from our solar panel and bring it into the solar charger. So with most solar panels you will have some type of output cable. Some solar panels already come with a charge controller. This one does not. That's one of the first things you need to figure out. So we need to take our power from our panel, bring it to the appropriate terminals on the solar charge controller. Then we need to take power from the charge controller and take it back into our battery. That's another cable that we're going to have to make. And we will connect the battery here to the output on the solar charge controller. Then we're gonna take power from the battery and power our devices. We are basically going to take a pre-made power pole cable, plug it into a distribution block, and now I can power my equipment. You're gonna see right now that I do have power coming from the battery that I can put right into my radio. Powers right up. So what's occurring at this point is your equipment is operating off of the power that's stored in the battery. What the solar charge controller is doing and your panel are doing is they are keeping the battery topped off. They're continuing to charge the battery while you are using it. The power going into the distribution block, which in this case is driving my 5105, and when I go operating remotely for this specific application, I will be taking another cord and plugging in my XPA125B power amplifier. It's all running directly off the battery. The solar panel, the charge controller, keep the battery charged, topped off, etc. 
And as I'm drawing power from my battery, I will be able to see that on my solar charge controller. We're close to the finish line. We have finished our cables. The first cable that we made will go into the battery terminals on our charge controller and connect to the battery. The second cable that we made will go from the solar panel into the solar panel terminals on the charge controller. Then we'll connect our battery to our distribution block and then power our equipment. So we wanna connect the battery first and let's start with connecting our wires into the terminals of the charge controller, make sure your polarity is correct. And this is all clearly spelled out on the front panel of the charge controller, which again, you can see from the photographs. All right, we can actually connect the battery now. And you can see that we've already powered up. Next, we're going to connect our cable for the solar panel. And again, we're going to start with connecting at the charge controller. Again, making sure that our polarity is correct. And now we can plug into our solar panel. Now, nothing's going to happen because our solar panel is not in the sun. But again, showing you the connections and then we'll take it out into the sun. Next up, we're going to actually take power from our battery. Go into our distribution block. And from our distribution block, we'll go into our radio and any other equipment that would, we would be operating remotely. And we are powering up the radio. Let's take it out in the sun. Okay, so there you have it, friend. Battery first, solar panel second, equipment third. Solar charge controller comes online as soon as you connect the battery. Connect your solar panel. And now you can see activity going from the solar panel into the battery that it's actually charging. And now we'll connect our equipment. So there you have it, how to connect your solar panel to your battery to your equipment and make sure everything is running smooth, effective and safely. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our friends over there at BioNO Battery 73.